Welcome into my studio, probably my shortest video ever. I'm going to show you how to varnish an oil painting. I did this one quite a while ago, but because I use Alkyd oils, I use the Griffin Alkyd by Winsor & Newton. And also because I use very thin layers, I'm not using thick um, oil paints, my paintings dry really quick. They touch dry usually by the next morning. But to be on the safe side, I normally leave my paintings a week or so before I actually varnish them. And it really couldn't be simpler. I use Gamvar by Gamblin. I usually use Satin. And that comes out fairly matte. I prefer that. I use a Rosemary & Co. Series 222 brush because I like how soft it is. And I just pour some of the varnish into a glass container. You've got to make sure you shake the bottle a bit first. You don't want to let anything settle in the bottom. Okay, that's especially applicable to the matte and the satin rather than the gloss. And then I just dip the brush in. Get a generous amount. I like to dab it over the painting before spreading it out. And straight away you can see the richness coming back, especially in the dark areas. Okay, so the dark areas are the ones that normally... Um, go a bit matte looking and lose their vibrancy or their contrast so when you create or do the varnish that's when it all comes back looking great again and I just spread it out over the painting the thing is you want to get a nice even coverage and make sure you get all the edges as well so go a bit outside the edge of your painting too and I generally go one way and then I go the next way really spreading it out nice and even as I said and then I finish it off and go the other way again so I generally finish off with these horizontal strokes so don't go putting too much on there that's the secret with it and that's all it is to it okay so here's another painting Gamvar again do the same process use a brush you can use any brush but you want it nice and soft um, you don't want like a bristle brush that's going to leave brush marks in there okay so you just simply as I showed you just dip it in it's very easy there's hardly any smell to this varnish at all it's one of the safer varnishes to use okay so I get the edges in make sure I've got all the edges and then I just get a bit more of my brush and spread all that out now I normally let this dry personally overnight then all the tack is gone from it okay you don't want to be packaging it up to send away or to the framers if it's still tacky okay so as I said I generally leave it overnight myself the gloss varnish that's really nice too it gives that glossy appearance if you Painting's really dark, sometimes it looks even better if it's a bit glossy. Now you can on occasions find a little hair. Perhaps when you've done your paintings, you can just scrub a bit with that, lift it out with the brush when you're varnishing and then smooth back over the top of it. Just wanted to quickly mention my Patreon channel for those looking for even more in-depth art instruction. It's packed full of pastel videos oil videos as well and those videos are being added to new ones every single month I have videos for the complete beginner that have never done pastels or oils before with just limited supplies and I take you from the very first blocking in all the way through to the final detailed drawings and paintings I've also got some really unusual subjects as well and in all of my videos I always take you through all the details you see everything I do how I create my work but it's not just for beginners it's also for novices and I also show the best artwork that I've ever done as well and this particular elephant video spans six hours so you know you're going to see tons and tons of details tips and techniques and as mentioned, I've got lots of oil videos on there too. So there really is something for everybody. And you get access to hundreds of hours worth of videos for just $4. Now over a thousand members strong. Hope to see you there soon.